Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video of Microsoft Excel series that is currently running into my channel. Friends, today in this video we are going to learn how to search a cell that contains a specified text and today we are going to use the combination of is number and the search formula in Microsoft Excel. I hope that you will learn something new in this formula. Watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference I am going to run the OSK software that means the on screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. Friends I have already created a file previously to save time. Let's open that file. Suppose you have a data file like this and you have to search some cell or cell reference number that would contain a special text and you are going to check if a cell contains specific text you can use the search function together with the is number function in this generic form in this formula we are going to type the formula like this look at here carefully friends I am going to type the formula the formula will be combination of is number and search formula so at first we are going to type the is number formula now it is asking for value in the value we are going to add another formula that is search formula here then look at here in this criteria it is asking for find text within text start number so which text you are going to find suppose you have a text in this cell so select that cell reference number then put a comma here now it is asking for within text so in which text you want to search for it so in this case I am going to search in this cell so I am going to type this cell or select this cell number then simply close the bracket and hit the enter button look at here friends as here is nothing it is showing true but in this case suppose I write here orange it is showing as false so that means this cell does not contains this value or this word you can type numerical values also look at here and if you give apple here it will show as true and if you copy the formula from upside down it will show you an accurate result look at here if I type egg here it will show true but if we add egg here it will show as false so this formula returns true if the substring is found the substring is this one and false if not note carefully friends the search function will automatically find partial matches right so let's check how this formula actually works the search function returns the position of the search string when found and the value error if not found we use this fact to test whether the search string is found by using the is number function to catch valid numerical positions the is number returns true for numbers and false for anything else so if search finds the substring it returns the position as number and is number returns true if search does not find the substring it returns a error which causes the is number to return as false so friends in this case you can see here that if I type this substring in 
capital letter it will also show as true and if you want the search result in case sensitive you have to simply replace the search function with the find function here right if you use the find function here look at here carefully I have used the find function so it will show you as false if this does not matches the case and if you type in smaller letter it will show as true so that's all for today friends hopefully you have learned a new trick of combination of is number and search function and find function in Microsoft Excel please give a thumbs up if you like this video share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned